The tampered sensor came out of the fact that um, I w was attached to a club and the club rooms would get vandalised. And it reminded me of my favourite statue which was in a park near where I lived in Sydney many years ago. And it kept getting vandalised and the council would continuously um, repair this piece of sculpture. But eventually they got sick of, of doing that and, and my favourite bit of sculpture disappeared. And um, the older um, people may remember when um, car burglar alarms first became a popular idea. Um, uh, you'd get a thunderstorm or a loud noise and all sorts of car burglar alarms everywhere would go off. And they often went off when the car wasn't being stolen, uh, with the result that nowadays when a car burglar alarm goes off people would hardly raise an eyebrow. And I thought to myself, gee I wish I had some way of protecting um, monuments, um, heritage listed buildings, that kind of thing, um, where people would pay attention to the alarm. They wouldn't uh, assume it was a false alarm. And so, you know, we thought that would make a, a very fine student project. And um, we'd had some equipment that was ideal for the job. It was serendipity. The idea came together and it worked superbly well. I mean, we, we just couldn't believe how well it worked. We had competitions where we invited people to set this thing off by um, firing shotguns, um, you know, jumping up and down next to it. And we couldn't, we couldn't give away $1,000 for anybody who could set it off accidentally. So we knew it really worked superbly well. Um, and that's where the product came from. Uh, it works using something you may have seen uh, on old westerns. If you've seen one of these um, western movies where the Indian sticks his ear on the railway track and he can hear a train coming from a huge distance away. And the idea is that the sound travels far better in the track than it does in the air. And we're using exactly the same principle. So the thing is listening both to the environment but also it's got its ear pressed against the thing it's trying to protect and it knows that if there's a tremendous ruckus in the air that a small amount of sound in the thing it's trying to protect is not a problem but if it's a quiet evening and there's some serious noise attached to the object then it probably means there's somebody with a crowbar trying to pry it open or break it off or, or whatever uh, and so using that same technology it's doing an electronic version of the same thing with a tiny computer embedded the sensor um, and it, it comes out that it's extremely cheap um, it's very versatile you can use it to protect um, the wrought iron grills on buildings you could use it to protect statues you can attach it to heritage buildings um, I believe there's people thinking of using it to uh, attach to a boat on the theory that when someone actually steps on the boat it's like the train coming down the rails you can hear them coming